It's not about being irresponsible. It's about your brain losing the capacity to prioritize, sequence, and complete tasks. The researchers broke it down into four core components. Working memory, the mental scratch pad that lets you juggle tasks, ideas, and reminders in real time. Inhibition, the ability to block distractions, ignore irrelevant thoughts, or stop automatic responses. Set shifting, the mental gear switching required to adapt when plans change or tasks interrupt each other. And fluency, the ability to retrieve, generate, and organize thoughts or actions quickly without freezing up. Even when one of these symptoms is compromised, daily life becomes a series of micro failures that others misinterpret as carelessness. But this isn't character. It's chemistry, circuitry, and sometimes trauma. In scans, these patients showed reduced activity in the prefrontal cortex, the same region responsible for goal setting and attention. But what's more revealing, executive dysfunction often co-occurs with depression, ADHD, traumatic brain injury, even long COVID. So in other words, it's not rare, it's just misunderstood. So the next time someone says, you just need to try harder, remember, executive dysfunction isn't about trying less. It's about a brain that's training so hard to keep up, it crashes. 